Today, it's a wonderful sunny day, and Mom wants to go out and ride the bike in the park so badly, so she prepared a very quick dinner. Today's dish is made with broccoli, which we children hate, but Mom loves. Will she be able to make broccoli pleasant to our taste today? Let's check it out. If you want to cook with us, get ready with the ingredients. Ciao a tutti! Today I am a bit in the rush because I want to go in the park with my bicycle. It's a very beautiful day. So I prepare a very easy and simple recipe. I prepare pink gnocchetti sardi with the broccoli. We need grana e pecorino, guanciale, beetroots, broccoli, semolina, cream and some chili. That's it! Let's start! Step number one, I make pink fresh gnocchietti. Let's start by cleaning the beetroot. Cut it in half and put it in a pan with water. Let it cook for at least 20 minutes. Once in a while, check if it is ready with the fork. If it is soft inside and outside, remove the beetroot out of the water. Blend the beetroot. It is easier if the beetroot is still warm and if you add some cooking water in the blender. Don't throw away the rest of the water, as we will need it for more taste. If you want to see how, watch the video until the end. Put some semolina inside the bowl. Make a small volcano and add the blended beetroot inside. Whoa! It does look like a real volcano! Better adding the beetroot when it's still warm to make kneading easier. The stove has the same texture as the Play-Doh set of my little sister Julia. Don't forget to cover it because then the dough will get dry like the Play-Doh! Let it rest for 10 minutes. Now that it is done resting, let's start making the shapes. Cut a piece of your dough and roll it up into a long snake. Oh no! The roll broke because it is too dry. To fix it, we are going to use the beetroot water like mom is doing. But continue to watch the video for we can use the water for more things. Now that you fixed the dough, make the long snake again. It really is soft, but make sure it is not sticky or you won't be able to make the gnocchetti. Cut it with the width of one finger. Then, take each of these tiny rectangles, put it on the fork, and slowly drag it. This will make the shape of gnocchi. You can see that mom is using a fork. However, she prefers using the sushi mat. Step number two, I cook up broccoli. In another pan filled with boiling water and salt, add your broccoli. Do not add the broccoli inside the water if it is not boiling and has no salt, or else the broccoli will turn yellow losing its nice green color. In the meantime, let's prepare our guanciale. We have guanciale. Mm. Now I am to cut it with my Chinese friend. Don't forget to subscribe. When the pan is hot, you put the guanciale in. Watch the video where mom cooked pasta alla carbonara to see how guanciale should be cooked. Put your guanciale aside. In the frying pan, where we just cooked the guanciale, add your broccoli. Let the broccoli cook in the fat and squish it gently, turning it into a mush. If the sauce gets dry, add water. Adding beetroot water will enhance the flavor but it will also make the green of the broccoli less vibrant. Or else, you can add the water used to cook broccoli. Step number three. This pasta is fresh pasta. Normally the fresh pasta cooking quietly. Not this because it's a little thick. Somebody knows why I am so happy? Because I am close to my favorite moment. Who knows who has my favorite moment? Write in comment below. 
Cook the pasta in the broccoli water. When the gnocchi are al dente, put them in the frying pan. Add a little cream. Turn off the heat. We are almost done. Now I have to use uh, another strange tool. Ta-da! Grate the grana cheese. Dice the pecorino and put it in the pan. If you'd like this dish a bit spicy, add some chili pepper. It will also add a nice red color. And now, a special tip. If you would like to keep a vibrant color of the gnocchi and of the other ingredients, cook it this way. Put the gnocchi into the frying pan, then pour your very hot beetroot water. Do not add it cold. This way of cooking is like caramelizing pasta, which will gain a light sweet taste. Look at the colors, so vibrant, and I feel like eating the gnocchi from the screen. Step number four, the magna magna moment. Yeah! Magno e magno. Non buono. Buonissimo! If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and push the belly. The bell, and now with my belly full, I go in the park. Ciao! Ah, every day is a sunny day in Tony's home. Finally, I am in my favorite park. Mom is a bit reckless. I hope she won't break any bones. We still need her food badly at home. Mi risolevo il vado, sono un genio.